point which okay that's not nice so this is going to be equal to the average let's take the average of this and then so there's the middle point the mean of our data set and then we're going to take the difference differ difference and this is going to be equal to the calories that day versus the middle point the average and we're over on these days but of course we're under on the days way down here uh, because that is by definition the middle point and you would assume that we would be hovering somewhere around the middle point otherwise we would get amazingly large or amazingly skinny you would think uh if we were uh on one side or the other for an extended period of time so anyways then we're going to take that squared we're going to square that so we, now we've done this bit and we're going to square them and then we will sum them up getting the numerator so this equals the data point squared is a shift six the caret to the power of two to the power of two and there we have it it's not quite as powerful as grayskull to the power of grayskull whatever that means but still it's pretty effective and then down below let's put a total column and let's total this stuff up i'm in my table so i've got my table design up top in the table style options let's give ourselves a, a total column and then over here on the calories let's go ahead and just take the average i'm going to recalculate the average just because we can and then here let's do a count so i can count them meaning one two three four five on the line items 457 line items which is a pretty fair amount of data but so easy to do and work with in excel because of the functionality that excel provides us right and if we sum it up it should still add up to zero because we're taking the difference of every data point from the mean the mean being in essence that middle point and then let's make this column a little bit wider so i can so i can see what the number is we have a huge number because we squared everything which got rid of the negative numbers but still is now it's all squared so let's take that and complete our variance calculation and the standard deviation so the squared difference from the mean is basically what we have here or the numerator in essence of our formula for the variance formula and then if we if we divide that this thing so i can put a divide uh, by the count which is n in our formula which we calculated here the number of line items 457 equals the 457 let's put an underline under that font group underline and then let's take the variance variance and just so we know the symbol is a sigma squared oftentimes represented as let's go to the insert tab go into our greek lettering so we can be cool with the greek stuff and greek and coptic and so then we have i'm just i have it in my favorites down here but it's right there too and then insert and then okay and then i like to hit enter and then go back into it then put a two then hold down shift and select the two or you could just select just the two right click and then format the cell and make it a subscript so i can get that squared notation looking nice like that then we'll do the division problem this equals this number divided by this number the squared difference of the mean divided by the number the count gives us the variance then we want the standard deviation standard deviation of the pop population 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 of data and we're going to say that this is going to be then the letter then would be sigma let's go to the insert tab symbols and add a sigma because that's the cool thing to do if you add those little symbols people really think you know what you're talking about tell you what that's all you need to do and people are people will will say that your stuff is good man so this is going to be the square root square root of that and so there's uh the 815 if we add a couple decimals home tab number decimalizing it with a couple decimals there we have it that's not really a word some people get mad that i use it but uh, i like to i think it it should be a word 
and it will be at some point uh, due to our use of it. So font group, if I hit the drop down here, let's make this blue and bordered. So there we have it. So this just another kind of example of us getting our calculation with a fairly long and different data set than, than the salaries. Uh, and remember that which, a lot of times what you would be doing with different data sets is basically being able to compare you know, the variance and the standard deviation of this data set possibly uh, to, re to related data sets. You know, if this was one population versus another population, and those will give you some ideas about the spread, some concepts that we'll get into in more detail uh, in future presentations. But that's the 81459, which we calculated over here as well, uh, the 815, uh, 59, the, the 814, 59, and this was the, <clears throat> for uh, the sample, for the sample data.